Jeffrey doesn't care about anyone or anything but himself. He is the worst kind of person. You see Jeffrey going through the drive through of McDonald's. He parks his car, he eats the shitty food, and then worst of all, he grabs the rubbish. And then you see him throw it out of his car. Jeffrey doesn't care. Do you? Adonis. Adonis has progressed himself so much and accomplished so much that now he has the capacity to help not only his loved ones, not only his community, but the entire world. Adonis makes movements that are far bigger than him. He encourages wider communities to make positive differences in the world. Cleaning up rubbish, helping survivors of natural disasters, easing the effects of climate change. This is a man who has truly conquered so much in his life. We can't help but look up to someone like that. A few days ago, I had a sickening leg session in the gym like a decent amount of pre-workout uh, smashed some like leg press hip thrust cough raises yes i train calves fuck off bro i'm having a good time i'm feeling like really really happy listening to good music then i run back home or like i'm walking back home because i'm tired i was really you know observing like it was such a nice peaceful day honestly i don't think there was like a single cloud in the sky which is kind of rare for the uk the sun's out and i'm just kind of being present and grateful for the world around me and i'm looking over at like the nature around and it really reminded me of when i used to live in the city and it was all like dark and gray and like i really i'm so grateful for the amount of like nature and green around me and that's when i got really sad because as i'm looking at like you know these bushes and trees to the side of me when i'm walking back home i'm really paying attention to them i kind of notice like a lot more rubbish than like i usually notice because i'm not really paying attention like a lot more once i really looked i was like what the f like it's literally littered with like fucking rubbish like this is actually like it's so much more once you actually look then you're like what the f and you know one of the things I noticed? I'm looking at all these pieces of junk and rubbish and wrappers. Every single thing was some kind of instant gratification. It was all junk food and snacks and alcohol. It really made me think, wait, imagine the delayed gratification of food. It's like, you know, the vegetables and healthy stuff. You're not... You're not gonna see that like as a litter, are you? Because it like, it decomposes. And even then, let's say if there's like vegetables that come in like a plastic packaging, this is like bro science, it might not be accurate, but it's in my perception that the people who eat more vegetables, who do more delayed gratification stuff, who are healthier, probably litter less. I'm looking at this rubbish and then I realized I'm actually so privileged to see this amount of rubbish right now. It made me visualize mountains and mountains of waste that's sent to other countries. And I wanna clarify, I've said in this video about like climate change and everything, like, I'm completely uneducated and ignorant in this topic but it really fucking hit me today and i think the reason why i've never cared about this is because i've never truly had the capacity to care about something so much like bigger than i am like you know this is like a worldwide problem most of my self-improvement efforts have just been on myself and then eventually for this channel and for the boys and this really just made me think instant gratification is like destroying the world it literally is destroying the world it's the fast food joints the junk food and the people who drink alcohol the people who are just taking like a lot of drugs this is completely like irrelevant somewhat but i would assume that the majority okay we know for a fact the majority of people are sleep deprived so i would say that the times when someone has gotten into a car crash and died like imagine like one of your friends who drives you just hear the news one day that he was hit by another car and he literally was killed and you know the other person wasn't drinking or anything too obvious and you know it's just an accident but is it really because the other person has been sleep deprived for most of their life because they scroll on f***ing Instagram before they go to bed every single night. The amount of damage that's being done to the planet and to our world by weak people, people who are succumbing to the pleasure and the comfort of instant gratification. I think that's the majority of the damage to our planet is coming from people like that. That's why we strive to be stronger with our goal of becoming more like Adonis. You'll notice that you'll naturally have more of a capacity to help more than just your yourself if previously i saw someone do it or if i thought of myself to do it, what i thought no that's gross that's someone else's litter it's probably dirty the last like year or so i've kind of noticed that sometimes especially around like my house and my neighborhood here if there's like something on the floor sometimes i'll just pick it up and yeah it's like dirty or something but i'll pick it up and i'll put it in the bin myself maybe that's something that you should consider now this is your neighborhood it's your community why don't you be like the person who sets the example there's some like dumbass kids or some fat person who's littered something or you know those fucking disgusting like people still fucking smoke cigarettes but there's someone who smoked and like they leave the little butt and they just tossed it to the side imagine if they just kind of saw you don't be a dickhead don't you know like shout with them or anything but like, imagine they just saw you pick it up and like stamp it out and like put it into like smoking ashtrays in a bin or something like that or you see some like dumbass little kid throw like a snack wrapper on the floor and they see you pick it up and put it in the bin you don't yes. say anything you just kind of like smile and you know give them a thumbs up because if you act like a dickhead like oh i'm so prestigious i'm helping you're just gonna offend that person and they're gonna think that you're like a bad person and it's not gonna do anything but imagine if you show yourself as like the example there's a story that dale carnegie mentioned in his book 
book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that really comes to mind. I love this. It's like a mini story. I think it's Henry Ford or Andrew Carnegie. They're in like the warehouse and he sees some employees smoking inside of the warehouse. And so he could get, you know, pissed off and you know, you're not supposed to smoke in there. But what this like this leader, this boss of the company did, he's walked up to them, gave them all one of his cigars and just said that he'll appreciate it if they smoke it on the outside. That's the the perfect example to set is like they know they did something wrong but it's like you could never dislike a guy who brought up your mistake like that i don't know about like you know big movements of like climate change or anything but i know for a fact that we can have like an individual impact on the people around us by just acting in a certain way set the right example take a step back from the instant gratification of fucking, like oh man i don't think i recorded the litter that i saw but if i just showed you it like i'm sure so many people would comment and say like oh that's not even bad it's way worse around my house and that's really sad but it's just it makes me fucking like uncomfortable to like visualize some like disgusting people like some like fat person who just got some mcdonald's and he doesn't care about himself or his life or his community and he just fucking throws shit out the window but at the same time hating a person like that is not gonna help us like we have to be better we have to show that nice example scroll down right now and click on the share button underneath this video send it over to a friend who might find it interesting do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it Mwah.